What's up guys? Dragon for everybody here. And today I'm going to be telling you how to get the syringe gun. So maybe you've been in the chemistry station and you've seen the syringe or ammo with all these. And you're like, hey, what are these for? Are these regular bullets for my gun or what? Well, no. They're actually... You leave. They're actually for this. This is a syringe gun. And I've only found this... Oh, I've only found this in one place. And I don't know if you can find it anywhere else. But, uh, yeah. So... My, the way I found my syringe gun is I was doing a mission for some dude. And the way you get it, or the way I got it, is up here in Parsons State and Stain Asylum. Now, mine is, it doesn't come like how mine is. You, the way it comes is it's like, it has the stub barrel, standard stock, and standard sights. It's pretty crappy when you first get it. But if you have a lot of resources, you can mod it out pretty fast. So, I'm going to go ahead and fast travel up here to show you guys where specifically I got it. And then when uh, then I'll cut back to the video. Alright guys, so I just fast traveled here, or fast traveled here. And when I got here, there's some raiders. So I'm going to try to use this thing on them. Did I just, no, I didn't miss. See, look, it bleeds him out. Die. There you go. It's obviously not the best gun in the game, but I think it's pretty cool. I'm gonna use it uh, on this dude again. Come on. Valentine, don't kill him. There you go. Did I miss? I might get a new scope, or I might just use this wrong way. Is it gonna hurt him? Alright, this is the first time I've actually used the gun. So, uh, Alright. Fuck it. Oh, yeah, look, look at that. That's why it wasn't working. I used the bloat fly one on him. I thought I was still using the bleed out one, but I guess I was using the bloat fly one. I'm gonna kill this bloat fly. Alright, I'm gonna head in here and cut it again because I hate putting loading screens in my videos. Alright, so we're in here guys, and what do you want to do when you get in here? Well, the, the, you can't get in here unless you kill all the mercenaries if you don't do the quest. And I might, I don't know if I'll show the quest at the end. But, yeah, you go in here, actually you can't get in here I don't think, without the quest. No. Alright, so once you got the quest, I'll show that at the end of the video. You go through here, this is where you, the guy leads you on the quest. I'm not going to spoil anything. Go up here, through here. There will be some enemies along the way, obviously. And he's going to lead you in here, and then after you've done talking and stuff in here, you'll go through this door. And then, you'll be back here, and then, what you do, you go through here, right? So, you, oh god, there's a mine. And then you go up these stairs, there'll be people in here, and all that, you kill them all. Uh, there was one dude up here who had a death call gauntlet. Uh, you go through the door, through the, into the same asylum. Alright, uh, alright, let's go. So, this place gets a little tricky. Cause there's like holes in the wall you have to go through. I mean, it's tricky, by the way. I'm professional as hell, but. Yeah, you go through here. Down here. Behind this thing. Mm -hmm. There's my phone. Fuck my life. Alright, and then, this is where I got stuck. I was like, oh, where the fuck do I go? God damn it, go away. And then you go through here. And voila, you're down here. And there's going to be all these cells. There's nothing in the cells, so you don't really have to open up the doors. But there's this... Not this one. There's this room right here at the end. And when you come in here... It's kind of dark, so you might want to turn your flashlight on. But you'll see this cam box, and right above the cam box, right there, this is where the stim gun would be. The syringe gun. So yeah, that's uh pretty much where 
to get the uh, gun, but you have to do the quest first, so I'm going to cut to where you do the quest, and I'll be back. Alright, so we're in, uh, fucking, <laughs> Bunker Hill. <laughs> Why well, can't I remember, or whatever. God damn it, dude. Alright, so, the way I did the, or got the quest, is I came here, and I just slept in this bed. So you sleep in this bed. I did here. I don't know how long I slept there. I think it was like 12 hours or some shit. Because I was just like resting until the daytime. And then when I woke up, there was this this guy. He was a ghoul. He was standing in front of me. He wears combat armor. I think his name's like Edward or something. And he talks to you like, hey, we need someone tough. And you just accept it. You just, you just accept it. And then he'll tell you. He'll tell you to go to this place where this like. Frank dude is, and you go there and you just accept everything Frank says, all, just say yes to everything he says, and eventually you will be able to go to the asylum, and if you c complete all his quests, and then he'll tell you to come back in a week or so, just stay in the asylum and sit down in a chair or a couch or something, and wait like, uh, like 24 hours, 7 times, and then when you wake up, it'll say like, hey, go back to him. And then he'll give you this, Lorenzo's Artifact Gun, which, it doesn't really do much damage, but it does, where are you, Nick? Nick. Nick. I don't know. Uh, it, it does that, and it pushes things, like, it really pushes them. Alright, so, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I'll see you guys later.